Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We continuing our protest in front of Tin Downing Street, in front of the British Prime Minister David Cameron, to remind him about the claims he would always make about how the United Kingdom is always in favor of democracy, freedom, and human rights. But when it comes to their ally, then we are seeing another, another standard. This is why we could not understand why the, Brit why the United Kingdom, why the UK remaining silent about the arrest of al political leader, Khalil al-Marzoub. In fact, the British government has been trying to push the opposition to continue on, on the dialogue, what is so-called dialogue. A dialogue, even if the Bahrain regime arresting al leaders, even if there are, even if the prisons in Bahrain are filled with the uh, political prisoners, with the human rights defenders, uh, women are being still tortured in the jail. So the United Kingdom is still telling us that we have to continue the dialogue, regardless that the Bahrain regime is continuing to crack down and to commit different kind of violations. So we are reminding David Cameron about the promises he always would make and the promotion he would make about respecting human rights and democracy. And uh, looking at the situation in Bahrain, how badly it's been deteriorating in terms of the arrest of Khalil Marzoug or the abuses of kids. I mean, Amnesty International, yesterday they have released uh, an urgent action about a 15 years old boy which been detained. So this kind of, uh, this kind of deteriorating situation in the country is continuing while the United Kingdom is still supporting the dictators of Bahrain.